need to have our morning conversation now ladies you know you need to take care of yourself with some gentlemen this weekend all married with children and they're doing well in life it's not that hawana pesa wakona pesa but they have sworn and this is what i found you see what they tell you is that it's inconvenient right now we'll go when the time is right but to me they swore there is no way they are taking rurashio bride price to this woman's house to her parents mm -mm. to you they tell you nikiwa tayari tutaenda si ndio one of them who sand yo naingia standard 2 saa hii said ame plan kwenda kwa mwanamke wake when their son is in form 3 that man you're living with for whom you've got babies ladies has he paid your bread price and you need to be very careful yes i know some it said oh a court ruled that hey, oh yeah come we stay qualifies as a marriage do you know by the time you prove that is very hard by the way if you are reading the papers and online stories this weekend there is a woman in mombasa a widow whose husband but she'd been married to that bugger for more than 15 years wakafanya kazi pamoja she was a director of his companies they built a company for 500 million the court has ruled that she has to share that money with other baby mamas because they were not legally married the court so has a baby mama and since there are many of you you're sharing this money and she's the one who worked with that bugger until that money came that man you're living with what commitment has he made to you has he even met your parents me two of these guys have had never even met the parents of the woman he's living with with whom one of them they, he, she's got uh, he's got two children with her the other one has got one child never met her parents and it really got me thinking do you know you're sitting there ladies the day that bugger dies and you see his will utashanga utawachiwa to speak zile ziko kwa nyumba na astri kama alikuwa na vuta vegi what commitment do you have that you belong there and i want you to be honest with me has he met your parents has he paid anything in bride price you know they don't want to ladies they do not want to because now it ties them to you you they tell you that when i'm ready we'll go but he's got no intention whatsoever of going to see your parents what's your situation it will give me a call let's have an honest conversation 0711 is my number hit me up on x at classic 105 kenya or at it's my neck again please don't forget the hashtag is my name kingangi what has he told you and by the way these friends of mine none of them are poor you should see the cars they drive how do you know you belong there seriously how are you protected how is your child or children protected give me a call what commitment has he given you 0711 is my number give me a call hit me up on x at classic 105 kenya or at it's my neck again please don't forget the hashtag it's my name kegangi let's have an honest conversation because where we if he has done nothing of the sort even gone to pay 10 goats utawacho mataani wewe utajipata pale kwa roundabout peke yako and why do why are you with a man who didn't commit to you ebu called me talking about this man who live with other people's daughters and have got no intention of paying brasio no intention of paying bride price some have never even met their family. Na me kuzalia. <laughs> Ladies, you don't know you're sitting on a fence. I don't keep it boring. Same people are in come we stay. 
But ladies, that marriage certificate is very, very important. Soldier Mondoro, since in-laws are the problem for suggesting huge amounts to pay for dowry for their daughters, so we are unable to raise it, so we end up just staying with them as if we were given free. But you are not given free. <laughs> and Jenga saying, just let your wife feel entitled in the relationship. Some are surviving in these relationships like house helps. Because she does not know anything. She's never even met her in-laws. Ladies, has he met your parents? Have you met his parents? I mean, that's the question I'm asking this morning. <laughs> Listen to Ayam Subaru. Appreciation comes in different ways. See, Lazma, we were dowry. I can take care of their daughter. In that way, I've appreciated them. Ati? It is a what? <laughs> you must be out of your head, Ayam Subaru. Where would you want to live like these ladies? Lucy Poma Makimana saying, Maina, you want to kill us now, Kweli, this morning. That man you're living with, what is the commitment he's given you? Tangible commitment, certificate. That's a commitment. Otherwise, mutakuwa kwa gari ya pige konda mblango yako ya ifunguke uanguke kwa barabara na endele na maisha. You don't see it like that. Hello. Maina. Morning. Leo umeamua ukeme watu. Leo umesoma ile gospel ya ukweli, eh? Eh. Ukakuja kuambia watu. <laughs> Let me tell you, Maina. Tell me. You see, there are so many women in this country, eh. men, who have suffered as a result of their mothers or their fathers living that kind of a life that they want to live today. You were born in a house where your father had not paid any dowry for you. Your father conks out and you, all your properties disappear and unakuwa nyinyi wenyewe munasafa the rest of your life. Bas. Then wewe unatoka mashambani, unakuja hapa Nairobi, unakuja unajikalisha hapo na mwanaume na unaendelea tu kuishi hivyo hivyo doing the same mistake that your Mother generations made. before you did. Yes. Maina, let me tell you, these women think that because you have bore some, uh, you have bore a man, a child, eh? yeah. now that is your security. Hakuna kitu kama yo. Hakuna. Hakuna kitu kama yo. Maina, people need to start legalizing marriages. It's very important. Very. Hata kama ni AEG, enda utafuta yo certificate. That's true. Otherwise, yeah. that is why you are hearing women walking around here saying, men are dogs, men are dogs. <laughs> yeah. other, other men walking around saying, ah, wanawake, ah. Because there is, especially women, they say, men are dogs, men are dogs. When do ulikuwa mjinga? Ulienda ukaka, the man is just enjoying goods, fruits of the goods have come. And when he's time to leave, he lives free. Hata kwa serikali, he's still a bachelor. That's true. Hakuna mali serikali najua meoa. That is true. Baina, ubiri yo gospel. Thank Yumi you. Kweli. Asante. Amen. Hello. Hello. Morning. Morning, morning. Yes. Kuhizi yadi wanajiripia wengine buwana. Wanajilipia dauri? Eh wanajilipia dauri wana form group. Eh. Eh na wanalipa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Asante sana. That man was very right. Even in the eyes of the government is a bachelor. Me I was so shocked. And I was trying to wonder sasa hawa wanawake. What protects you? What protects your children? Ladies, do you know how vulnerable you are? You're so vulnerable, it's crazy. What commitment has he given you? And I like this previous caller. If you've paid your own dowry, I want to hear from you as well. What is that? I want to hear your story. Ladies, where are you? Today, the floor is yours. Let's talk. So ladies, do you know you're sitting on the edge of a knife? You're living in a man's house. He has not married you. He has never paid a dowry. Agenda kuona wazazi wako. You have never met his family. Umemzali, hey, umemzalia. 
<laughs> listen to Poker Stanford saying, never be in a hurry to pay dowry for these girls in their 20s and 30s. When she gets to 43 or 45 and has got three or four kids, then you're sure she cannot leave you. That's the time to go and pay the bride price. Guy! Aki Poker, you're talking like the men we are talking with this weekend. this woman in Mombasa, she was told she was not married to her man. 15 years they'd been together. Directors in the same company. That company is worth 500 million. The court said, you're not, how do you, you're not his wife. You're just a baby mama. And I hear there are four more. So you're all sharing this money. Niema. I know the law says that even a come we stay constitutes a wife. But by the time you prove that, hey, that piece of paper, ladies, is your security. Is your security. Kanga Justin Kanga saying, those are marital internships <laughs> that you're discouraging. She needs a minimum of 10 years of close supervised internship <laughs> before making her permanent in your house. Guy! At a marital internship. Minimum 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> you just talk to me. Hello. Uh, good morning, Maina. Morning. Sir, sir, I've been with this lady eh. for three years. Eh. Uh, we, well, we haven't been blessed with a kid together, right? Yeah. But uh, she has a kid who's, uh, she has a son who's in school. Eh. With you? Who's in high school. With you? No. Eh. That's in a previous uh, relationship. Eh. So I took upon this kid as mine. Eh of which I'm paying school fees, I'm doing everything. Yeah. I bought this lady a car. Yeah. I finance her every month. Yeah. I pay her house for like 50K. I give her 50K for... Does, she, does, does she live with you? No, I'm uh, out of the country. Ah. Yes. So every time I visit Kenya, yeah, I try to arrange uh, her family and my family to, 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 to panga for a show. Uh-huh. But definitely she says no. Why? Yeah, I don't know. She never gives me a good, uh, a good answer, but she normally says no. So I, I put my foot down and I told her, you, and trust, uh, believe me, for the past three years, she's never met my parents. That's a funny thing. So every time I say to her, okay, let's go meet my parents. Oh, no, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm, Do you want my money? Oh, no, no, no. I love you, but oh, we're going to get married. We're going to see your parents when the time is right. So it's not all about the men that are bad, these women out there, they're out there to use men. So let me ask you. Yeah. What is she hiding? That she doesn't want to meet your parents? She doesn't want you to meet her parents? Anna Fichanini? Exactly. That's what I've been asking her for the past three years. The family has been asking her, what is it? This guy is doing everything for you. What do you want? I mean, is it even catering for the kid who's not his? He's going up and beyond. To make sure that you're happy, but still, you're not really. What else? What else do you want? What kind of man do you want? Hey. Okay. Where are you, so, by the way? Where are you? Oh uh, no, I mean, I live. I live in the UK. Hey. Wow. Okay. You know, I mean, it's not all about the men. We do so much, but no one says anything about us. Thank you. We. Good morning, my name. Morning. Ah, okay. I'm not a lady, but that's a good call, wake up call you are giving women, eh? Yeah. You can't be there like a chicken. People will dish you whenever they want. Yeah. Uh, that paper is very important. The marriage certificate or just uh, the bride process, eh? Yeah. Bride process. It's very good. Because, my name, uh these men nowadays don't need any commitment. Yeah. And uh, it's in the moment. You see, like, those are your friends telling you. You think how many friends they have told like that. So it's a group. And when once mother to finish to eject the button, yeah. the rest of it is out. So it's like a movement. So women need to be careful. At least when you are left, you have somewhere to hold on to. Here to Naju, Apo, Mezarisho, Kamapanya, Uju, Wende, Wapi, everything is gone. And you are just there stranded. So it's a good wake up call. Today, support you on what you are telling our lady. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, Asante Sana. Ladies, where are you? I really want to hear from you. 
Your silence is deafening. What are you afraid of? Have the final word. So we're talking about these ladies who live with men who have not married them, who have not paid dowry, wamewazalia, and you think, yeah, him a man. Let me tell you, that karatas is very important. You must meet his parents. He's, he must meet your parents or anyone from your family. If you don't have parents, an uncle, an auntie, someone. Jennifer Kanye is saying, if the man you're living with doesn't want to put in effort in meeting your parents and at least pay something small as dowry to start with, if he isn't well financially, it's a fact he's not fully committed to being married to you. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. This is something a lot of young ladies are getting into. And it's a problem. And this is a bomb waiting to explode. Hello. Good morning, Maina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Women just need to respect themselves and their families. It's simple as that. Why are you staying with someone and you not paid your diary? That's what I'm trying to wonder. And there are and very many of them. Four children. How? No, that's so wrong. That one, you've let your guard down. You have no leverage on, in that marriage. That guy can leave any time. Yeah. So, what legacy are you leaving your children? Hakuna. Yeah, so it, it just starts with the women. Can we start respecting ourselves? Yeah, and our family is very... The guy will respect you and see the value that you bring to the family and he can go and visit your folk. So for me, I wouldn't... I, I don't even know where I would start because where are the parents... Okay, maybe some don't have parents that are alive. Yeah. But your family... Because how do I tell my parents I have three children with a man he's, uh, they've never met? <laughs> where do you take your children over Christmas? As who? Who are these? <laughs> By the way, as who? <laughs> as who? Who are these? <laughs> That's true. So what's your, what's, so your, what's your advice to these girls? Even as dating, let the guy know the kind of family, the fa family values that you have. Yeah. What your parents expect. Yeah. Yeah, so by the time you're even getting married, you don't have to do a big lavish wedding, but let him at least go home. Let his people meet your people. You know? Yeah. Then I can't even do IV because sometimes, you know, the expenses for a wedding can really set back the, the beginning of a marriage. Yeah. If you don't have uh, the funds, maybe you, you met young. Yeah. Just do the, the, the IG, the AG. Yeah. Later on, you can do a white wedding if you need to, but let the guy at least go home, have the paper, and live a respectable life because I can't imagine going home with children who <laughs> their father has never been fed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, so ladies, I, I think it's just on us. Okay. Let's just respect ourselves, yeah. Thank you very much. Asante, hello. Good morning, Chumaina. How yeah, are you? I'm fine, thank you. So I want to contribute to the topic today. Karibu sana. Uh, may I tell you a story of, a, of my, one of my friends. Uh, she happened to be dating this guy. Eh. The guy was providing for her. Yeah. Yeah. The aqua you now was the or living with the family of the guy. Yeah. Now that the guy can tell him he came from Nakuru, this place and whatever. And then it happened, the lady just turned because they had spent uh for like five years. Yeah. She never met the anyone, any relative from the guy's side. Yeah. Now I because now the guy has been tell uh like Kumule Yeah. When the lady went, uh she was surprised because when she she went to the boy's home. Yeah. What Maina, she met the, the, the mother's uh boy, the yeah. guy. Yeah. Now the mother was shocked because uh, this girl was married. The wife was at Ushago. Hiya. The wife was there as the lady was talking. Yeah. The wife now even kids. She had four kids. She had four kids. Yeah, and this now the girlfriend was already pregnant. Okay. They saw drama. <laughs> okay. So at times, at times, it's better. The guy who from the UK is saying it's better even to go and just 
find out now that they don't want you to they don't want to meet their parents they don't want to come to your home you have to find out what are they hiding not from the guy's side only but even from the lady's side you have to find out what are they hiding okay because they must be hiding something yeah yeah there is something they are hiding and if you've been i i believe uh stay with someone for more than a year you have even to to like even communicate with one of the families if if even if it's the dad the mother the uncles the sisters you know yeah but now if you are, i'm saying eh. if you are in a black situation like you never talk to anyone from the family yeah you have to be worried because akuna venye unaweza kwa umekana mtu fulania and you've never met any even a sister a brother any from the family okay yeah okay thank you very much thank you young girls please take care of your interests and the interest of that child that certificate muhimu sana 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 she works a night